Okay guys, so the other day I was showing you how we had some frost and some of the discoloration on uh, some of my more tender palms. And so here is that Livestone chinensis. If you go back to that video the other day, this frond was yellow and green, all different colors. And as you can see, it's warmed up again. I think our uh, overnight low, we're in the 50s or around 50 degrees at night and the daytime even warmer. Uh, I know we're getting up around 60 again. You can see all of that kind of, that's just a bit of a response. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know if I've ever read um, if anyone has an explanation for that. So if they do, they, they can comment, but you can see it's reversed itself. And same thing on the little Sable Cossierum. There is no discoloration. You wouldn't even know that it even happened. You see that? That's rabbit damage. The mother effer. Back in here ruining my stuff. I've seen them. Uh, should leave my dogs out. But uh, anyway, back to the point, whole point of the video. Is uh, you can see that it's totally fine now. Totally fine. So kind of interesting, huh? And then the... Uh, the Washingtonia wasn't, it had cleared up that morning or, so this one has actually nothing. It's totally flawless looking, looks great. Even, I think this one just kind of on the tip, so I was still seeing a little bit, but it's gone now. So totally recovered. It just seems to be some sort of response to the cold that uh, some of these palms do. The Trachycarpus don't do it. They always look the same to me, but I did have someone comment, said they're in Georgia and theirs does it. Mine doesn't. I've never seen it on, on any. This is a tequila here. It's starting to actually get some size to it. Anyway. Hope you're staying out of the frost. That's not too cold. And happy Thanksgiving.